Hello lovelies, I'm Christina and today I'm giving you my July and August book haul. For the month of July and August, I bought, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six books and I was sent one book by a Norwegian publisher. Let's jump into it. One of the first books I got was, and I've been showing this a lot lately, I know. And the story for this, I think I've already told it actually, but I borrowed this book from a colleague and a friend, fell in love with it, then I, <laughs> I passed it on to another friend who also loved it and found out that I had to buy myself a copy and my colleague a copy, a new one. So I ended up getting Milk and Honey by Ruby Cower. You know how much I love this if you've already seen some of my past videos. I still love it just as much. I'm thinking doing sort of a live stream poetry reading thing with some of my favorite poetry collections. So let me know if that's something you want to see, if that sounds like a fun thing. Because it's just, I've been playing around with it up in here, so we'll see. Next up, I was at a bookstore waiting for them to get a book that I had placed an order on and they couldn't find it, so I was kind of walking around the store. Yeah, smart thing to do. <laughs> and they had a sale there and I came across a book that I listened to on audiobook for a while back and I loved it. And I found it there for really, really cheap and I wanted a physical copy of it, so I had to. And that was the Fireman by Joe Hill. This story is so good. It's about sort of a plague that goes around the world where people starts to uh, combust and catch fire. It's just so good. It's a chunk though, but it's really, really good on audiobook and there's just so much darkness. He has the same catchy writing style and the way to build worlds and to really get into characters as his father Stephen King does love this to bits and I'm so glad to finally have a physical copy for my tiny library. Then the book that I had actually placed an order on and they did finally find it after a while but left me walking around in the bookstore for quite some time so I hate it when that happens but the next one was The Hatching. I've been seeing this around booktube a bit and I hate spiders. I really don't like them, but I do love horror. So this was a kind of a love-hate thing. I was like, oh, I, I have to read that. And oh uh, shit, I'm gonna have nightmares. The world is on the brink of an apocalyptic disaster. A virulent ancient species, long dormant, is now very much awake. I might end up really regretting this. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm really excited about it. I, I hope it's gonna be good. I hope so. I haven't really seen any full-on reviews of it because I don't want to be spoiled so I haven't dared look at any but I will let you know what I think when I get to it. Next up I went to one of my favorite bookstores in Oslo which is Outland. They have a really great range of sci-fi and fantasy uh, books there and it's just they, they really do a great job with picking books that I haven't really heard of or seen before and they front them in their shop and they have like this monthly book that they recommend. This is one of the recommended books that I had never heard of but it has some really great blurbs. I haven't gotten into the synopsis really but I know it's supposed to be like an epic fantasy series and I haven't really read big like epic fantasy series for a long time so I'm hoping this is gonna be good. And it is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. Like I said, I don't really know much more about it. It just had a lot of good blurbs. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm excited to get to this. This also is quite a chunk. And from what I know, I think this is a debut novel as well. So it will be interesting to see what this actually is. I'm I'm very curious and I look forward to diving into this. I'm thinking maybe like later this fall. It feels like a good chunk of a fall read, so yeah. Next up, I got two books that I got off Book Depository. I have a Book Depository link, I will leave it down below and I will also link to all of the books that I show you so that you can go get more information and get yourself a copy if you want to. But the two books I got, the first one was Lullabies by Lang Liev, or Liev, I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyways, Poet, really beautiful book. I'm currently reading it and haven't gotten that far yet. But 
I've just been captured by fewer poems. I'm really into poetry lately and I've been writing a lot of poetry as well. So I think that's what's going on here. I'm like feeding my creativity with other people's poetic creativity and um, yeah, it's a fun ride. But this one is truly beautiful. I love the cover. She has other books as well with poetry that looks kind of the same. I think the first one is the one that's best known. I think it's the name is Love and Other Misadventures or something like that. I haven't gotten that one yet, but I'm really liking this one so far and I will tell you more of what I think. It's really a collection of like short poems and just um, longer bits of writing like this and there's a few illustrations as well so it's really enjoyable so far. Then I got a non-fiction book that is Tantra the Supreme Understanding by Osho. I've been really curious about Tantric Buddhism lately and I really want to expand my knowledge about it so this is one that came up that had really high reviews so I went and got it and I look forward to diving into this one as well to see if there's something in here that will catch me and I love just feeding my curiosity. So non-fiction books are really a good way to go. I've gotten an audiobook on Tantra as well and I started listening to it. It had really high reviews. I don't remember the name of it but I will probably talk about it in one of my wrap-ups later on. But the narrator just didn't do it for me. I just kept losing my concentration. But I'm hoping this one will make it easier for me to actually tag along for the ride and learn more about Tantra. Now the last book that I got was one that was sent to me by a Norwegian publisher. So thank you to Yulindal for sending this to me. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it at all and it's such a beautiful book. I did a review of another book that this author did. I think it was last year or the year before that. And I really enjoyed it. This one I think is supposed to be a middle grade novel as well. And it is called Nattspeile. If you're gonna directly translate it, it's gonna be The Nightmare. It's a story about a boy that wakes up in a hospital and suddenly there's a mysterious girl there that says she needs her help. It says that uh, they have to go to this beautiful and peculiar world where there's a dangerous darkness and can they end evil before it's too late. So it sounds really, really good. Look at that shiny cover really pretty and I look forward to reading this. I think I'm probably going to read it by myself first. I'm guessing it's something I'm going to fly through really quickly and then I might read it together with Leandra later on. There you have it. Those are the books that I got in the month of July and August. I did get a couple of more books but those were for the Booktubeathon and I feel like I've shown those books off a lot lately so I'm not going to go into them as well. You can see my Booktubeathon wrap-up video and also my TBR video. I will link to both of them so you can go check that out and you will see the same books there but I don't want to repeat myself too much and show the same books over and over and over again because I know that's going to bore the hell out of you. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video soon. Goodbye!